In the period from the 13th to 19th of January 2024, the armed forces of the Russian Federation inflicted 17 group strikes, including Kinjal hypersonic aircraft missile systems, as well as unmanned aerial vehicles, to hit the enterprises of the military industrial complex of Ukraine, which repair weapons and military hardware, manufacture ammunition, gunpowder, and reconnaissance strike unmanned aerial vehicles. The deployment areas of the Ukrainian troops, foreign mercenaries and nationalists were also engaged by the strikes. The objectives of the strikes have been achieved. All designated targets were hit. In the Kupiansk direction, units of the Zapad group of forces continued to improve the situation along the front line in some areas. During the week, 25 attacks launched by assault groups of the 32nd, 115th Mechanized, 57th Motorized Infantry, 25th Airborne, 95th Air Assault Brigades and 103rd Territorial Defense Brigade were repelled close to Sinkovka, Peshanoye and Tabayevka in Kharkov region. The enemy losses amounted to more than 560 Ukrainian troops, 10 tanks, 8 armored fighting vehicles, 26 motor vehicles, and 8 field artillery guns. In addition, two field ammunition depots were destroyed. In the Krasny Liman direction, the units of the center group of forces, with the support of aviation and artillery fire, repelled 17 enemy attacks and defeated the clusters of manpower of the 24th, 66th mechanized brigades, 125th territorial Defense Brigade and 5th National Guard Brigade near Chervona Dibrova in Lugansk People's Republic, Yampolovka in Donetsk People's Republic, as well as Serebryansky Forestry. The enemy losses totaled over 1,520 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, one tank, 21 armored fighting vehicles, 34 motor vehicles, and 8 field artillery guns. In the Donetsk direction, units of the Yuk group of forces, supported by aviation and artillery fire, have repelled 15 enemy attacks during the week. In addition, units of the 22nd, 28th and 93rd Mechanized Brigades, the 5th and 92nd Assault Brigades and the 112th Territorial Defense Brigade were hit close to Kordumovka, Antonovka, Bogdanovka, Klesheevka and Andreevka in Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's losses amounted to more than 1,880 troops killed and wounded, 17 tanks, 27 armored fighting vehicles, 2 Strula-10 anti-aircraft missile launchers, 86 motor vehicles and 28 field artillery guns. In the South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok group of forces repelled one attack launched by the Ukrainian 79th Air Assault Brigade near Novomikhailovka in Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, aviation strikes and artillery fire hit Ukrainian units close to Poroskovievka and Pavlovka in Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's losses amounted to up to 965 troops killed and wounded, two tanks, six armored fighting vehicles, one Strula-10 anti-aircraft missile launcher, 24 motor vehicles and 15 field artillery guns. In the Zaporozhye direction, the Russian troops inflicted fire damage to the manpower and military hardware of the 65th, 118th Mechanized, 128th Mountain Assault Brigades, as well as the 15th National Guard Brigade near Verbovaya, Malaya Tokmachka and Robotino in Zaporozhye region. The enemy losses were up to 395 servicemen, one tank, nine armored fighting vehicles, 16 motor vehicles, and 10 field artillery guns. In the Kherson direction, the manpower and military equipment of the 35th and 38th Marine Brigades, as well as the 121st Territorial Defense Brigade close to Mikhailovka, Taginka, and Ivanovka in Kherson region were defeated by the preemptive actions of the Russian troops and the enemy's complex fire damage. As a result of the Russian troops' actions, the enemy lost up to 325 soldiers, 3 tanks, 29 motor vehicles and 25 field artillery guns. During the week, 21 Ukrainian soldiers surrendered. 14 of them were in the South Donetsk direction. During the week, Russian aircraft and air defense systems shot down six Tochka-U tactical missiles, one JDAM guided aerial bomb, 11 Olha MLRS projectiles, 62 HIMARS and Uragan MLRS projectiles, as well as 274 unmanned aerial vehicles. In total, 567 airplanes, 265 helicopters, 10,894 unmanned aerial vehicles. 
450 air defense missile systems, 14,686 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,202 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 7,788 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 17,617 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation.